Do you remember this drilling accident? Using the wrong drilling equipment caused a cost 1 million project to be halted? There are many such situations. So a complete set of solutions is very important. As an expert who has been focusing on this area for 15 years, let me share my views. I hope it will be useful to you. If the solution I am talking about can help you recover your losses, that is also my original intention of making this video. I have also compiled a complete PDF document of the plan. You can get it for free at the end of the video. I also hope you can subscribe to my channel. Next let's see what your project should look like. Drilling rock. Choosing the proper tool. There are various formations of rock with various PSI ratings. There are different bits and tools for different drill rigs. However, there is no drill bit that will work in every formation of rock on every drill rig. There are some drill bits that work well in most formations, but there is no drill bit that works well in every formation. What drill bit do you use most? PDC bits and reamers. The first type of bit that can be used for rock are PDC bits and PDC reamers. PDC bits were first designed for the oil field in the 1970s. Since then, the designs have changed dramatically to fit the various different drilling industries, including HDD. In the correct formations, PDC bits are fast, durable, and steer easily. PDC bits have different designs that include different number of blades, different size cutters, and different blade angles. The more blades on a PDC bit, the harder the formation it can handle, but the slower it cuts and softer formations. There are many formations and PSI that PDC bits work well, in such as shale, sandstone, limestone, sand, and clay. The benefit to PDC bits is they also can work well in both soft and hard formations. Whereas, most rock bits are only designed for rock, and the rate of penetration dramatically drops when in softer formations. PDC bits work well in rock with PSI between 2000 to 30,000. Because they cut so fast, issues sometimes arise when not enough fluid is being pumped to clear the cuttings out of the hole. When a PDC bit sits in its own cuttings, this can cause the bit to wear unevenly and prematurely fail, even in the correct formations. A mud motor or rod within a rod system is required to run PDC bits. Be sure to consult your ranking drill manufacturer for proper drill matching instructions. Three-blade PDC bits work well in very soft formations such as clay, sand, and very soft shale. Recommended PSI for three-blade PDC bits is 2000 to 8000. Four-blade PDC bits work well in very soft formations and medium soft formations, such as soft shale and soft sandstone. Four-blade PDC bits can also handle soft formations, such as clay and sand. But the rate of penetration is not as good. Ranking drilling tools with a factory building of more than 3,000 square meters. We manufacture and produce various drilling tools and support customization, meet all customer needs and provide free product information and engineering solutions. Click the link below the video to get it automatically. Recommended PSI for four blade PDC bits is 6,000 to 11,000. Five blade PDC bits work well in medium soft and medium hard formations, such as medium and hard shale, soft and medium limestone, sandstone and silt stone. Once again, the 5-blade PDC bit can handle soft formations such as clay and sand, but the rate of penetration goes further down in those soft formations. Recommended PSI for 5-blade PDC bits is 8,000 to 20,000. 6-blade PDC bits work well in medium-hard to hard formations, such as sandstone and medium-hard to hard limestone. Recommended PSI for 6-blade PDC bits is 15,000 to 30,000. While there are 7-blade, 8-blade, and 9-blade PDC bits, they are not usually recommended in HDD applications. Much like the PDC pilot bit, PDC reamers work well in similar formations. TCI Triconi bits 
The next type of bit that can be used for rock is TC I Triconi bits and roller cone reamers. The Triconi bits was invented for the oil field in the early 1900s. Since then, it has been designed and redesigned for every drilling application, including horizontal directional drilling. HDD TC I Tricones are very versatile in that there is a Triconi for nearly every kind of rock. The key to keeping the best rate of penetration with the Triconi is drilling within the parameters the bit is meant for and the formations that bit was designed for many times. Issues arise with Tricones when the bit is over-rotated or there is not enough weight put on the bit. With rigs 30,000 pounds and smaller, the biggest problem is not being able to put enough weight on the bit without the rig stalling out or increasing RPM is. When the carbides are being worn out before the bearings go out, it is more often than not an issue with not enough weight on the bit. When the bearings were out before the carbides were out, it could be that the bit was run correctly. However, if the bearings are failing prematurely, it is often because the bit is being over-rotated with high RPM is. Always contact the bit manufacturer for correct RPM and WOB to eliminate possible problems with carbides and bearings wearing out prematurely. There are soft formation, medium soft, medium hard, hard, and very hard formation to see eye cones. Recommended PSI for soft formation to see eye cones is 4000 to 8000. Recommended PSI for medium soft formation to see eye cones is 8000 to 15000. Recommended PSI for medium hard formation to see eye tree cones is 15,000 to 25,000. Recommended PSI for hard formation to see eye tree cones is 25,000 to 40,000. Recommended PSI for very hard formation to see eye tree cones is 40,000 plus. Tree cones also require a mud motor or a rod within a rod system to be run. Roller cone reamers are designed the same way as the Triconi pilot bits and have the same characteristics. Product related guides. Click the link below to get it automatically. Air hammer system. Then, there is the HDD air hammer system. The air hammer system is the best system for extremely hard, abrasive rock. The air hammer system uses an air hammer, an air compressor, a hammer bit, and sometimes a support pack. One of the downfalls of an air hammer system is the air compressor. The air compressors are very expensive and use a lot of fuel. However, the air hammer is very fast in hard formations. The bits are fairly inexpensive and have a good life expectancy. Air hammers work well in rock with a PSI of 15,000 plus. Anything softer than 15,000 psi can be an issue and there is often a better bit for the job. There are two different kinds of hammer bits. There are slant face HDD hammer bits that are specifically designed for HDD applications. There are also traditional round face hammer bits that were designed for oil and gas drilling. Typically, the slant face work better in the HDD application because they are easier to steer. However, there are many drillers that prefer the traditional round face as well. There are air hammer systems for nearly every size rig on the market making a pilot hole as small as 3 in to as big as 12 in. Link information below the video. HDD tooling maintenance before, during and and after. For your project, it is suggested to us. One of the other three types of rock drilling methods talked about in this article. Be sure to do your research on what formations you will be in and which rock head will work in those formations. Ranking one-stop drill bit supplier factory. Our drill bit services save 38% on cost. Solve 90% of your engineering problems. Click the link below the video and let's start working together.